So okay. uh, welcome to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, the ZBA meeting for Town of Southwick for March 22 in 2021. Uh, let's see, who's all here? We have, we have Mike Parent, Bill Liss, Chris Mestriani, Mr. Stapleton is absent. Uh, so Wendy Cordero is here and I am here, Paul Gregoire. And the time is 7.01. Okay. So we are going to have a hearing tonight regarding, actually it's a continuation, I guess, of uh, yeah. the hearing for 56A Berkshire Avenue. And I presume that Mr. Garda will be joining us momentarily somewhere. Yep. <laughs> He's usually right on time, so I, I don't know. So you guys have had nice weather up there? Beautiful. Yes. Last few days, certainly. Been as good as yours. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it, it had a cold front today, and it got down to... Uh, 68 and we went to this restaurant and the woman was wearing a winter jacket with gloves <laughs> <laughs> well, the blood the blood's thin down there mike <laughs> oh god when it drops below 60 everybody just goes crazy they all wear winter jackets and stocking hats and oh boy so mike are you west coast or east coast down there uh it's sort of central uh, oh, Central, okay. 40, 40 miles north of Orlando. Okay, near the, near the villages there. I'm in the villages, yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> Staying in the villages, so. Yep. Which is a real hoop. <laughs> That's what you tell That's us. Like a metropolis. <laughs> I remember, you know, 25 years ago, that was like a development. Now it's like a city. It's... It's 120,000 people here. <laughs> oh, my God. And they're building another 18,000 houses, so it'll probably be up over 135 very oh, soon. Yeah. Got over 120 swimming pools, <clears throat> so three, three town squares. They're building a fourth one. So Nice. You use golf cart a lot, Mike? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> drive around. You can drive around for... Yeah, exactly. And cool. You go to put gas in it. There's the tank's only two and a half, three gallons, and right, right. <laughs> two hundred fifty miles on a, a tank. Of <laughs> but it is amazing how far today. We just went out to lunch and went to shop. It was nine miles, but you just the, the golf carts here go twenty miles an hour. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, hate to break it up. I see Mr. Goddard right. has joined us. Yep. Hello, hey, John. John. Hey, John. He's on mute. Hey, there we go. Buddy. There you go. How's everybody doing? How doing? Good. 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 John. They're doing great. How can you be doing bad with weather like this? Uh, it is, you know, I, I'm a winter, I was a winter kid and I'm a winter guy, but, you know, once you get a taste of spring, you know, the heart changes. You're looking forward to something else, I guess. <laughs> Well, John, we're here to uh, talk about your revisions to your re or, yeah, original appeal for 56A Berkshire. So uh, we just got your email a while ago telling us of your uh, changes, or at least giving us a hint. Sure. So, please explain. Absolutely. If I can ask, I don't think I have uh, privileges just yet, Wendy, um, if you could Give me some sharing, then we can, uh, I suppose, I put up on the screen and we can talk at the same time. Uh, we've lost, we've lost Wendy. <laughs> yeah, she like went that. on, she went dark on us here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, hang on a minute. Um, she's on mute, too. <laughs> so she's trying to tell us something. We're not going to hear her. <laughs> I can't share my screen either. Okay. Well, I suppose on one hand, we all have the luxury of a computer in front of us. Um, yep. So we want the, uh, the luxury. I uh, want to be able to share a couple of uh, 
you know, thoughts and walk you uh, through the changes. But uh, in the meantime, I can um, jump in and describe what's happening. Uh, in a nutshell, the survey has been amended to uh, exclude the portion of uh, the property that was formerly um, shown to be part of a, a right of way subject to Daryl B. statute. Um, yep. That portion uh, has been truncated uh, so that the boundary um, on the, the plan that I shared is indeed um, just uh, what was shown in, in, in described in the deed. So we're looking at a lot that's roughly 66 feet wide um, by at, um, I'm sorry, you know, roughly 100 feet, 150 feet or so uh, in depth, 130, 140. Um, so what does that mean for our filing and uh, for the variance right over here? Uh, the deck was the component that before was uh, across, if you will, that beaded line. Um, and we have truncated that. Um, so we're roughly about two and a half feet off uh, of that side line. Mm. Um, the proposed uh, information. That's enough to give us room uh, to construct a retaining wall where needed on the backside and still be on the property with all the hard construction and everything said and done. Um, so let me just pull up my uh, email here. Uh, in a nutshell, this doesn't change uh, what's happening to the front and rear uh, various requests um, that we had filed. We still uh, fit within the uh, dimensions that we were talking because we're not really changing that. We just brought everything, if you will, in line and flush with that, um, that side dimension. And so the variance request uh, has been amended to include um, about a seven and a half foot variance from the side uh, property line as well to accommodate uh, the proposed improvements. Let me just double check, see if I can share anything just yet. So, okay. Okay. Uh, Hmm. Well, when something's happened to Wendy, I don't know what that wants to be urgent, but she wouldn't have cut out. Okay. Um, Paul, I'm I, here. I just was having trouble with the sound. Uh huh. And I'm and there she is. Video, but I can hear you guys now. So. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wendy, can I ask you to? Uh, Providing you with some uh, sharing privileges. Do you have that um, control? Okay, sure. Hold on one second. Thanks. <laughs> hmm. All right, I made you co-host, so you should be able to get on there. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's see, let's do this one right here. Okay, so this should be the, the plan that um, I think everybody's probably trying to flip between one screen and another to take a look at. Yeah. Um, but I'll zoom out a little touch here. This line that my cursor is tracing, uh, that is the, if you will, the deeded boundary. Um, yep. Well, certainly familiar, narrow, um, proportionately deep, but uh, still not by uh, uh, not by standards of the uh, of the zone. But nonetheless, uh, so this adjacent land here is no longer uh, identified as part of the subject parcel. So the proposed improvements: this thinner solid line right here, representing that property sideline. This would be the retaining wall, and just a little mm. over uh, two and a half feet in uh, at its nearest point. Um, would be, uh, if you will, the proposed deck. Uh, so revision uh, from the last uh, meeting was just to frankly take this component here, I'm waving my hands at the screen, it doesn't help anybody does it. <laughs> Taking this portion right here, pushing it in uh, so that we can construct and comply. Uh, and this one jogged just a touch because at that point it just made sense to have um, the stairways uh, in line with each other descending along that portion right there. John, how much of that deck exists now? 
let me flip over. I did a, a, a revised uh, overlay. You might remember this, uh, this dagger from last time. Yeah. Uh -huh. So this, uh, you see the white grips, the little circles on each corner right there. I traced the existing uh, footprint of the house uh, and the deck. So this little overlaid section right here, that's the existing um, uh, deck of the house. And really that's uh, providing stairs uh, just to get down from the driveway. Uh, so it's yep. very, very tight into the house. And so you can see we have, a, when we talked about the uh, correction to the foundation um, that's taking place to, to square that off of the existing house um, along the rear um, and then the remainder of this portion right here that represents essentially everything outside of the foundation of the existing structure that's subject to improvement. So a little overlap with the existing um, components right there. John, yeah. that rectangle you just had up there, the blue rectangle. Mm -hmm. Okay. The line on the right hand side. Yeah. Of the of the rectangle, I mean. So the what, what, what is that exactly? This this blue line here. Yes. That's just a signature uh, from the program. So what we're, uh, we're it essentially means nothing. That's just a rectangle saying, okay, this is what you marked up here. Um, the part that I want to draw your attention to uh, is boxed in by these white circles at each um, vertex of the existing improvements. Okay. Same. Okay. Now, left-hand side line is nine feet, six inches. Is that correct? Uh, we are spun around here. Uh, so plan left right here. Yes, uh, that's nine feet, six. I think this yeah. being the front, we will call that the right um, side of the, of the building. Okay. It's my dyslexic right. Uh, you know, I get uh, plenty mixed up when we're talking about the leg, because as far as I'm concerned, hey, that's the frontage I'm really interested in, right? But, <laughs> uh, but I guess that is the rear of the line. John, the uh, the new deck, mm. it, it doesn't really show very well on the on your plan, but I assume that's two levels. Yes. Yeah. Let me let Is me that pop correct? Over. The top stairway goes to that. Let's we'll call it a T-shaped piece, and then then the next stairway goes down to the rectangle. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, okay. This uh, initial set of stairs drops us down. Uh, gosh, I'm going to call it, you know, four or five feet from the driveway level just to get to the second floor of the house. Okay. Uh, this will provide access uh, to the lower level um, before uh, then finally, if you will, descending to the rear yard. So it's a... Uh, it's not an current, interesting... currently in existence. I'm sorry? That, that stairway is not existing at this time. Uh, it does exist. Uh, within, the, within this footprint right here, you descend. This is the existing stairway. Right. Is, uh, into this section and it does descend down to a series of um, <coughs> narrow decks uh, before then descending in down to the rear yard. But the other set of stairs up there coming down from the driveway, yeah, that one, that's mm -hmm. new. That's that new. Would be the new one, yeah. That okay. would be masonry, which is why I'm not uh, boxing it in with the, uh, with the stairs and decks. That's all right. Okay. With uh, with nine nine feet six inches on one side and two and a half feet on the other side, I, I think we're gonna if we move along with this, we're gonna have to add a side aggregate uh, variance also because the side aggregate is twenty feet. That is correct. Okay. I all right. Just wanted to get get that out there up, up front. Thank, thanks so, for mentioning that. So you'll be looking for a side aggregate uh, variance of about eight feet, if my uh, quick math goes correctly here? Thereabouts. OK. Plus, we got a frontage and then the lot size, so. Yes, yeah. those are the, uh, yes, the existing ones at the, uh, we're not directly touching, but yes, uh, substantial nonconformities. Is that is that retaining wall down down along the uh, the deck there? Is that above grade or is it what what's it really look like? 
How high is that retaining wall, I guess? Okay, might... so these retaining walls, uh, they're designed to be providing, we're going to call it a minimum of three feet of airspace um, uh, beneath the deck. Um, however, they uh, march down with the falling grade um, along these parts. So I think at a, at a very maximum, uh, we're looking at roughly uh, six feet uh, at their greatest. Um, these are certainly subordinate, uh, if you will, uh, at the rear of the property, there's a, uh, a retaining wall that's part of a conservation filing uh, to replace uh, some existing um, damage at the site from a dilapidated wall up there. That, and that one's right about six feet or so in height as well. Um, but having said that much, you know, that, that dimension is measured, if you will, to the uh, exposed side, which in this case is uh, on the deck side. Now, this is the if you'll, retained earth side along that property line. Okay, and is that, is that holding back grade that's, that's on the, the right of that? I mean, it's, uh, that is correct. Okay. So, uh, so I guess I guess what I'm asking is if I'm standing in this empty lot looking towards your your project here, how much of that retaining wall is sticking up out of the do I see sticking up out of the ground? Give me just a quick moment. Um, let's see if I can we'll throw a hard number at it in the conservation department. Uh, that's all subject to a little bit of tweaking, but let's start here. Bear with me for just a moment. While it's loading, I'll describe it as a knee wall of sorts, but uh, let's see if I can. Now, part pardon this, uh, this is a, a little bit dated. That's not um, just another moment, fellas. So if the pardon its alignment, at least have some top and uh, bottoms. You know, the, the intent is not to build this any higher than it has to be. That's just a, a, a waste of money. So for in this particular case, I'm looking uh, at the deepest corner. This would be lower deck. And of course, under our alignment, we're closer to this dashed line right here. But that's 240, 241, 242, six inches exposed right there, 242.5 at the top. Uh, this is more in line with the design we're showing right now, 250 and a half, and I'm at roughly 249 where we make that transition into the, uh, 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 if you will, the stairs and off that deck. So that's about 18 inches or so exposed at that upper portion right there. Yeah. Really, that's just, uh, that's freeboard, if you will, uh, just to make sure that there's a maintenance edge. Uh, and of course, making sure that we're properly holding that, um, that material back. But it just uh, steps down with the grade until it's no longer needed um, at, the, uh, at the southern part of that uh, lower deck. I'm looking right now the edge of the deck out to the out to the uh, lake. Yeah, that's what twenty some odd feet. You want to lift it up a little bit? Uh, I, I'm sorry. Oh yes, uh, twenty one point four to the property line. Now is that uh, which I think is roughly uh, dimensioned along that lake. So we'll, yes, uh, about uh, 20, 21 yeah. feet out to the. Uh, All right. Uh, I don't recall that being there when we looked at this last time. I will. Pull up the previous plan in just a moment. So that dimension uh, hasn't changed. There's a little vertex there. Of course, we're tracing the property line. So the 21.4 is about where it, where it was last time? Yep. Uh, let me just I'll pull it up here. That way we don't have to, you don't want to guess. How about that? <laughs> here we go. Yeah, we had 19 then too. So this is the, the previous plan. Oops. 
and we got 21 forward to that. Okay. All right. Unfortunately. So we, uh, you know, we looked carefully. We went out in the field, uh, uh, put some stakes in the ground, um, and determined, you know, because I think we were all being a little creative. If I was trying to figure out, okay, how do, how do we make this fit? Um, in one, yeah. circumstance. Um, but we determined that those, we didn't want to push any closer to the lake than we were showing. Okay. <clears throat> I don't know. Rear lot line minimum is supposed to be what? Uh, 10. 37.5. Is that correct? That's correct. Oh, yeah. And uh, I think yeah. we've got, oops, let me move my highlight there. 61 and change uh, as the tie course between uh, go to the side, two sidelines. No, we can't change that anyway, so. Nope. Now, right now, existing, how much, well, <laughs> is it right from the back of the house to the lake? The distance from the back of the house to the lake right now, 36.3 uh, feet. Yeah, is that pretty much where things are at now? I mean, there's nothing... South, oh, I want to call it south. It's not south, but. Uh, it's, it's, so that is dimension from, uh, I'm going to call it that, um, we'll, we'll call it this bump out on, on the building. So this, yeah. this corner right here is where we're dimensioning from. The existing stairs um, end roughly in line um, with that existing uh, the building. So the stairs on the left of your arrow. Mm-hmm. That's all new. Yes. Um, the, the idea is to, to swing it around here. That's a, in light of the variance request as well as the conservation filing. Um, I hate the, the marching down right in front of the house uh, and uptight to it, but that's a more appropriate location than uh, to go a point between there and the lake. Does conservation approve of the 21.4? Conservation has not issued uh, their decision just yet. Um, I think you will concur that they did not raise uh, very much objection whatsoever about uh, the location of proposed improvements. Um, big picture in the conservation uh, world is that we're providing a lot of uh, improvements from a function, stability, and infiltration standpoint. Um, any, any paving that's uh, more than three feet uh, outside the building, that's going to be uh, permeable. Uh, we've got a beach uh, area that we're going to convert from existing lawn. That's good for eliminating a, a pollution source as well as um, providing a, a good infiltration of, of roof runoff at, the, at this site. Uh, and the decks, uh, they're permeable. We've got space between the boards. That, that goes down to stone and fabric below. Um, so we get a lot of bang for our buck while fixing some real uh, significant erosion issues um, at this site. And the deck is on on pilings? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, elevated from the, from the, from the ground plane. Yeah. <clears throat> it looks like there's a significant overhang too on the house. Let uh, the overhang at the house, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. It's a little tough to see some of the uh, surveyor's gray line work, but this is the overhang right here. So if you will, that second floor deck you know, extends up to if you will, the building line. So that's the overhang right there. There's actually a bump out uh, on that second floor. And then on the, uh, the first floor, uh, it, it does square off beneath that. Um, so just to make sure I'm not confusing anybody with this dash line, I'll uh, 
extending off the side. That's the setback line. Um, this orange signature right there. That so orange signature is what? Would you care to say that again? Uh, the orange signature is the application of uh, setback lines. Oh, okay. Strict application of them. <clears throat> I guess our, our concern here is your proximity to that, that line. Yeah. Two, well, you can't because, get a fire truck in two and a half feet. I know that. I'm we sorry. We're we'll, we'll, we'll at 96 even, Paul. Yeah, I know. We're, we're close there at least. 96, they can probably get through there, but uh, that's, why okay. we asked, that's why we asked for 10 feet. But hit this right side, wow. Well, I call it the right side. It's probably whatever side it is. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Um, you know, we are looking at a, a lot that's substantially smaller uh, than the standard lot under zoning. Uh, that, that 10 foot dimension is based off of um, that 150 foot frontage dimension mm -hmm. um, and associated developable area. Um, you know, there are some unique circumstances at this lot uh, that in include. No, no. Uh, the absence of a, um, you know, a potential uh, for conflict at this sideline. Plus, I think plus the fact that you have the your driveway goes is two right of ways away from where the lot is. So I'm not sure emergency vehicles are going to have much. I don't. I don't. I don't see that sideline uh, restriction for emergency vehicles is, is, is as much of a, a deal on, on this lot saying you have to go jump through such hoops just to get, get anywhere near it anyway. Uh, it's just the you have to bring in the fireboat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. You need to have the boat. <laughs> that is a shared driveway as I understand it. That's right. Um, and again, you know, I don't, we don't control what happens uh, over at this adjacent property. Um, under the existing condition, you know, that's uh, it's wide open. That's out to where these contours extend. That essentially has been maintained as well um, over these. You can even see a portion of the previous, uh, or one of the previous owners' uh, improvements spanning that line. Um, so it's not yep. it's not pleasant to walk down, but it's it's passable. But for sure, nothing, uh, I don't think much uh, in, the, in the town's inventory is going to be traversing that slope. At least not twice, maybe once. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's definitely shoehorned into a small lot for sure. Um, okay. Uh, A lot of consideration here. I'm looking at your your dotted line here, showing the uh, uh, the actual yeah the variances. I think you said I don't know if you can see my arrow, but I'm just looking at the right hand side. Your your dashed line. This portion here. Yeah, the, the dashed line right there. Mm -hmm. You are in. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's where you should be. Is that correct? That is measured ten feet off of the sideline. Yes. Okay. So you're adding, well, quite a bit to what's already there. This uh, so off the side of the house. Uh, from this point, you know, we're looking at roughly uh, twelve feet. From the so from the edge of the house to that dash line is about six feet. You're saying, give or take. Yeah, rough. I'm just talking rough. Yeah, rough on somebody. And that math comes, I think, bears out comes to the dimension. We're a little oblique um, at this. Yeah, it's all right. This corner. Okay. 
So what, why is this big desk necessary? Just uh, party time or, I mean, <laughs> dance floor? The, I think uh, it's fair to say the reality of this residence is that it's tight. Um, and as with, uh, I suppose, many others, uh, along the lake, the, the intention is to use this for um, your outdoor enjoyment. Uh, so that we're not just uh, looking through a window um, at the lake, but also it brings an opportunity to be outdoors and with it. Um, you know, there are, uh, I recognize that the, the purpose of this variance um, application is to look at this particular site and this particular proposal. Um, we are maintaining substantial space uh, between, I say substantial, in terms of how lakefront properties uh, have been developed substantial space between uh, the residents um, and the water itself. In doing so, we do shove a lot over uh, towards the you know, I guess left proper um, portion of the house, but that also functions as the access way um, to get to the house. There, there, are, there are no entrances along the rear of this uh, house. I said rear, oh my goodness, here we go with the <laughs> orientation. <laughs> On the front, right? Oh, okay. um, and certainly not along this side, um, up against the Williams property. Um, no entrances there. Uh, this is a, these entrances are, are shown to get into the storage space down below. Um, in the first floor at this location, second floor at this location. Um, so this, this portion here doubles not only as your um, outdoor leisure space, but also as the access um, to this residence. And I'm seeing proposed porch reconstruction with frost wall. So that's that's already the the distance where it's at now. It's no, it's a uh, slightly offset from the existing footprint. The existing footprint, um, you know, this is supported on columns uh, that are deteriorated, uh, and it's short. It's uh, short. So uh, the idea is to square off that dimension. So, well, where is it now? This light gray line I'm tracing with my cursor. This, okay. This cursor so that's the existing. So this this big X right here um, is the surveyor okay. signature for that uh, enclosed room. All right. So we're adding a, what a couple of feet here? Uh, yeah, at most. Uh, I think this to square it off. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, okay. what it is? It's tight. But. And the dimension from that corner is 36, is that right? 36.3 is the existing. So this uh, corner is set uh, in roughly about a foot or so uh, from that uh, new cross wall. Okay, so existing is roughly 37 and a little bit. And you're going to, we're going to 36, okay. Now I'm seeing here septic. What uh, uh, the surveyor is probably living uh, <laughs> in, in his world in Chester. I, I would call that a, a sewer pump, but you can call it a septic pump. Um, so yes, <laughs> it's, uh, a sewer pump, okay. <laughs> so yes, uh, there is a low pressure line that uh, uh, traverses the site. Um, and then within this uh, adjacent land travels up and makes the connection to the sewer in Berkshire Avenue. Yeah, we have. That's what I was to say. We have sewer in, in Berkshire, so yeah. so therefore, this is not really going to be functioning. Will you say septic pump, or whatever? Uh, no, the part of the work under this project will be to relocate uh, this pump just slightly. Uh, I talked with the DPW director um, and, the, and, the, and the sewer staff. They have a, an apparatus to lift out. Those pumps, they should be able to get access to it. Uh, some places they build trap doors into decks uh, to do that. But uh, for this location, um, and with the, the fact that we're getting into a, a renovation of the house, the best, best idea is to get that out into some open space. So you're actually going to be pumping from this point out to the street? That's correct. Yeah, that, and that is a, that's an existing condition. All, all we're doing is just uh, moving the chamber itself um, out and relaying a portion of that lateral up to Berkshire Avenue. 
Okay, so it's already piped up. All right, good. That's what that's what I'm trying to find out. And, and that's going through the right of way, that uh, underground pipe? That's right. Um, Mr. Granos pulled up uh, some information, and off the corner of the house, it's about 35 feet or so um, into this uh, right of way you know, where that sewer lateral is passing. And that is a, a single line that just services this residence. So Mr. Granels is happy with where it's at then? Uh, in terms of uh, where the sewer uh, line is? Well, that you say it's in the it's in the town property, so. Yeah. Oh, so yes. Uh, no, well, the idea is that. Um, he chose it. I'm sorry? He had to choose that location at some point. That's right. You know, or Tommy Fitzgerald did, Paul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> OK, <laughs> enough said. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Mike, any other questions or, or Chris? No, I'm I'm uh, I'm satisfied all the questions I had. Okay. Yeah, you know, there's an, enough anomalies here to certainly meet a lot of the requirements for. Oh yeah. Officer. You know, between the topography and the history of the property, it's, and I think the bottom line is it's going to be an improvement on the property. Mm -hmm. So, and like I said, it's definitely shoehorned in. Yeah. Um, and I, and I, John, I appreciate, I know we had some confusion or, or you went back and they looked at it and you've done a pretty good job of trying to, to create project within the boundaries that you're given um obviously we need the variances to do that still but like i i think with the conservation if they had any issues paul with the deck or the that's going to get shot by them so that becomes a building department issue after that you know uh -huh. um with the client so really the variances for what you give it just gives it to the next step for him anyway and overall i agree i don't think it's a horrible project you know for what the constraints are on this property and the the location and the drop off, as we've all talked about, we've driven by there. It's pretty severe. <laughs> yeah, there's not much usable land behind there. So, um, so I'm all set. I know there's a lot of variance numbers we're going to have to come up with here, unfortunately. Yeah. So, <clears throat> assuming we agree to the variances required to do this, uh, I think we have to set a condition to the thing that. Uh, yeah going to be dependent upon the conservation commission right. to, to approve yep i think that's appropriate what you're waiting for john now anyway right based on this plan yes okay so we could we could kind of put that as the condition as the plan in front of us is going to be subject to approval of the conservation to move correct. forward with our variance request our uh, agreement correct is that fair i think that's fair all right, master of mathematician. Chris, you got some numbers you've been yeah. jumping down or what? Hey. I came up with a 31338 variance lot and 83.25 frontage variance. Oh, well, <laughs> you already disagreed with me, so I got to take, I got to get out my magnifying glass and see. I, I'm just based on the 41,000 based on the eight that he's got there, but, or 40,000 rather. Well, I, um, I have a lot area of 7,600 square feet. Oh, I had 8,000 chain. 0.19. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna big differ on that. We can make that right. I mean, it is what it is. The town versus what I saw. It's just, you're saying existing is 8.6 and uh, Chris is saying it's seven point something. Is that correct? Yeah. Chris? Well, yeah, I'm, I don't know if you're using the the, I look, I'm just the real at, acreage uh, or the uh, fudged acreage that we always use of 40,000. So 40,000 yeah. times 0.19 is 7,600. Okay. I think it always, I, I always question that, but then I I realized that that's what's always used. So I've, I've been using that. 
Uh, we're consistent. That's all right. We're consistent. That's that's fine. Yeah, and the lot lot frontage I think is sixty according to the town map is sixty. So they need a a variance of ninety on the on the frontage. Well, yeah, I I noticed that too. John's got sixty six point seven six for right for frontage, and then that's the, what I was going by. The oh, map, okay. The map shows sixty. I think. Yeah. Well, if we go by the town map, then we're we're giving it uh, more than he needs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're giving him ninety. Yeah. Okay, then. Then, as far as the other ones go, uh, it would be a, a a twelve foot front variance, a seven and a half foot side variance, an eight foot side aggregate. And a 19 foot rear. If we want to agree on these numbers before we formalize the uh, formalize the, the motion. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay. And then the uh, condition at the end. Okay. Well, if you got those numbers, Bill, why don't you go ahead and uh, or you, or don't you have them? Well, I was just jotting down what you're. So I don't have an okay. order, but. <laughs> All right. down. I'll, I know you got your spaces to put them in, Chris. So I'll, I'll get I'll give them a shot. Here. Yeah, I make them. I make, make a motion to grant the following variances to 56A Berkshire Avenue for the purpose of uh, renovating the, the property. A lot area variance of 32,400 square feet. There we go. A lot frontage. Variance of 90 feet. Yep. A front setback variance of 12 feet. A side setback variance of seven and a half feet. A side aggregate variance of eight feet. And a rear variance of 19 feet. And with a condition of uh, it's pending approval by the conservation commission for the for the distance from the deck to the water as proposed okay i'll second that all in favor aye aye aye, aye we will guys motion. have it <laughs> motion has been approved so i guess john we just have to wait now we'll put it into the uh, the offices at the town hall and uh, got to wait our usual 20 days. John? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was silent. Like <laughs> He's celebrating. Uh, oh, is that what it is? Just taking a big sigh of relief. <laughs> I only bring you the, the most unique uh, parcels of Southwark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we got it all covered. So, thank you all for your time. Tonight. All right, hey, John. Good have a good evening and uh, hang in there with the with the nice cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> all, all right, right. see you, John. Thanks. Take care. John's gone. Hello, guys. <laughs> He's gone. Yep. All right. Uh, do we have anything pending? Anybody got anything cooking or heard anything or? I've not. It's been quiet. Yeah, it has. It has. And the only thing that's uh, not exciting is that uh, Southwick is still in the condition red for the COVID. <laughs> yeah, it's probably by the percentage, I guess, right, of, of positives. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. But, you know, make, it makes you wonder a bit when you go out. You say, yeah, I'm wearing my mask. I've had my shots. So I'm okay. <laughs> You're vaccinated, Paul? Good yes, you. sir. Yes, yeah. sir. As of this, as of two days from now, I'll be completely, you know, my two weeks extension, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, How, um, which, which, uh, brand did you have, as they say? Pfizer. 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 Okay. And I had bills nice. problems. Nothing, huh? Good for you. Nothing. A little, you know, sore arm, a little bit sore, but then hardly noticeable. W Willie, too? Yep. Good. Yeah, we went in it together. And, and we would do for eight o'clock and eight fifteen. We get in there. I don't know, quarter of quarter of eight. They said, "Come on in." <laughs> we get them all. Yeah, yeah. We're out of there, you know. <laughs> were, were you at CVS, Paul, or 
No, I went to Mercy Medical. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Because <clears throat> um, I know the CVS is now getting allocated every day. They're getting them out of dosages they can give out. Yeah, I don't um, know which CVSs are, are allocated. I, I know the one well, in Ag there's one at Agua yeah. Shop and Shop. Okay, they have a they have a website on the CVS.com uh, in vaccination or something, but it's pretty good. My brother's gotten his because he's a teacher. Yeah. So he finally got his scheduled. Um, but yeah, it's coming, you know, little by little. So, and you gotten a chance to sign up or yeah. yeah I did. You have signed up. Yeah. Your we team. had four opportunities down here to get the shot. The counties were given it, uh, uh, local grocery stores, CVS, yeah, Walgreens, yeah. all were given it. So when we signed up, I signed up on Saturday. On Monday morning, I got a thing. Pick a time. We yeah. went to 30. Yep. Got our first shot to Moderna. We get our second shot on April 5th. So Yeah, the three-week window, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Any, so. any, uh, oh. any repercussions from Moderna? No, I've heard, nothing. I've heard some stories up here, some people that I know. Yeah, no, we pulled over. They made you pull over to the side there. It was a drive through Never got out of your wow. car. Uh-huh. Nice. Oh, wow. You just drive right yeah, Paul, to your point, on Moderna here, you get the second shot, you get a little more reaction, I think. Um, I've heard that. Which is good, actually. If it's if you get the mild symptoms, it actually build, body's building against it, you know. I guess. Um, yeah. that, that means it's kind of working if you get something, you know. Well, I, um, I, I know a guy got severe reactions on his first shot. Oh. Well, that might also make good reactions on flu shot, too. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know. So what do you, what do, you do, Bill? Um, let's see. I got my trusty. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, I think it's, uh, let's see, what's the 27th? So Saturday, the 27th. Oh, okay. Well, and then cool. three weeks later, April, whatever, mid of April for the second no. one. No, good. Good. Yeah. And, and the wife. Yep. Also. Well, she already had hers. Um, oh. she works at the hospital. Oh, she had hers a month and a half ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll get there. I mean, I think by summer, we're going to have a pretty good uh, handle on the majority of the population probably getting vaccinated, you know, I at least that. to build that herd immunity stuff going on, you know, yeah. So, well, more. the fall will bring more issues again, I'm sure, you know, this yeah. area, half the people are, oh, this isn't really real. And the right. other half all have masks and are getting their shots and stuff. So it's kind of a, yeah. Funny. Thing. I think Florida has been that way, Mike. It's kind of been that DeSantis has kind of run the open gate a little bit, but yeah. Miami is really that's the hot spot that I've heard. Oh, Miami is not good. Spring break. It's a cesspool anyway. With spring break, even <laughs> worse. Kids, you know? All we want to do is go down and drink and maybe meet somebody to get away. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll you can't, you can't get that penicillin shot anymore. It doesn't work as well. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right. Are we all set otherwise? Uh, I, think I put so. a motion to adjourn. Second. Do I, oh, we got a second. Okay. Yep. All, in favor. all right. Aye. Aye. Uh, all right, everyone. Stay well.